Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this particular training, I want to give you a quick little demo of how Foam Burner works. You see, Foam Burner is a CRM designed to help individuals and teams better manage, organize, and follow up with their prospects. So if we jump over here to the Contacts tab, you'll see our Contact Manager. This is where individuals can go to manage and organize their contacts. And we use a system of foldering to help you organize these contacts. So you can see I have a bunch of different folders. So I can separate my folders based off of the type of leads they are, or the source of the leads, or where they might be in my pipeline. So let's say, for example, I go to the Contacts folder. And from here, I can open up individual records, and I can review my notes. I can make any changes to those records. Now, of course, one of the most important aspects of prospecting is going to be calling your contacts. You need to be communicating with them often, right? You need to be connecting with them. And the phone is a powerful aspect of prospecting. And of course, the phone burner system is designed to help you effectively and efficiently call your prospects. So when you're looking at a list of contacts, you can individually select contacts that you want to call, or you can select a whole page of contacts. Once you've identified and selected the specific records that you want to call, the specific contacts that you want to call, you click the Begin Dial Session button. What that's going to do is that's going to queue up all of those contacts that you just identified as prospects that you need to follow up with and queue them up in a dial session. Now, of course, every dial session is going to have some specific settings. Like, do you want to have a script on the screen when you connect with somebody? As you're making calls, you're going to be able to click on dispositions that are going to set the outcome of the call. Like, did you call them and they didn't answer? Did you call them and it went to voicemail? Did you connect with them and book an appointment? Things like that. So we've got different types of buttons. We call them dialing and live answer set buttons. Another key aspect of the phone burner system is the option to be able to instantly drop a voicemail if somebody does not answer the phone. And so you can choose a pre-recorded voicemail option whenever you're starting a dial session. Now the next option is the caller ID. Every call we make using Phone Burner needs to have a caller ID that goes along with it. Now you can bring your own caller ID. Let's say you've got your cell phone number, your office number, and you want to display that as your caller ID as you're making these outbound calls. Not a problem. You just have to verify that caller ID with Phone Burner, and then we'll allow you to use that as your caller ID when you're making calls. Don't want to use one of your own phone numbers? You can also purchase phone numbers through Phone Burner, and we'll allow you to use that phone number as your outbound caller ID when making calls. And the final option we'll talk about here is the option to record calls. We do give you the ability to enable call recording. It's totally up to you whether or not you want to use this feature, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on for this demo so that you can see how that works in the dial session. So let's go ahead and click Continue and get connected. So with Phone Burner, you actually have to get connected into our system. So you need to be able to talk to your prospects. Your prospects need to be able to talk to you. And you can connect in a couple different ways. You can use your headset plugged into your computer, or you can use your phone. Now, in my particular case, I'm actually going to use my phone. And I'm going to use Skype to call that number, just so that you can kind of see how this process works. So I'm going to go ahead and dial that number using Skype, since you can't really see my cell phone, right? Thank you. So now I'm connected. You can see on Skype, I've got a connected call and Phone Burner has identified that I've dialed in and connected. And my caller ID that Phone Burner is going to be using is the one that I've selected when I was setting up my dial session. I'm going to go ahead and hit start dialing. And I'm going to start calling this first contact on my list. Now, as I'm calling through these contacts, I can review my notes. I can review any of the custom fields related to this contact. I can also pull up my phone script. So if the joker answers the phone, I can be ready to start talking to him right away. Now, if it's ringing and ringing and ringing and it doesn't go to voicemail, nothing happens. At some point, I'm going to be tired of listening to that phone ring and I'm going to want to move on to my next call. So I'm going to click the no answer button. When I click no answer, that's when it's going to move me on to my next prospect. You see, Phone Burner is never going to call a contact without you making the decision or choosing who to call and when to call them. But what's great about these dispositions is when you click the disposition, it's going to add a note to the contact record. Of course, we've already moved on to the next contact, but it adds a note to that record indicating the date and time of the call and what the outcome was. 
Now I'm gonna add my cell phone number here real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I'm gonna stop dialing Mr. Darkseed here on that 213 number. And I'm gonna call my cell phone number. So when I click to dial that number, now of course it's gonna start calling this number as opposed to the previous number. Now I'm gonna answer the call. Now if somebody answers live, now I've got an echo in my ear here, so I'm gonna mute that and put that on hold or something. I just wanna get rid of that echo here. So when somebody answers the phone live, there's never a pause, never a delay. You're connected live to that contact when they answer the phone, right? Because phone burner's not calling multiple contacts at the same time, we're calling one at a time. Now, of course, as you're making these calls, when somebody answers the phone live, you're live there on the phone to talk to them right away. There's no pause, no delay, no awkward silence. So once they pick up, you have your conversation with them. At some point during that conversation, you may want to click this live answer button. That gives you the option to put the contact on hold. You can come back into the conversation when you're ready. You can transfer the call to another person on your team if you need to. And remember how we turned on call recording? If you need to stop call recording, you can click on the stop recording in the upper right hand portion of the page. Call recording is now terminated for this specific contact, but we'll resume on our next live connected call. When we're done talking to this contact, we click the end call button. Now we've disconnected with our prospect, but we still have plenty of time to add lots of notes about the conversation we just had before we click on our final disposition, indicating the outcome of the call. So let's say I booked an appointment with him, I could click the booked appointment button. And when we do that, I'm gonna move our Skype off the screen here. And when we do that, you can have these buttons configured to do a few things. One of those things can be to move contacts into the appropriate folder to help you stay organized with your data. I'd also like to point out that the Do Not Call button is configured to automatically add the contact's phone number to your DNC list so that you never call them again. You may have also noticed that up here it says Emails too. These dispositions, these buttons across the bottom of the screen can also queue up emails to be sent to your prospects based off of the call outcome. Now the last thing I want to show you before we wrap up this demo is how to leave a voicemail using PhoneBurner. So I'm going to go ahead and call myself again. So when you're calling somebody using phone burner, if they don't answer the phone and it goes to their voicemail, you're going to hear it once you've confirmed that it's gone to voicemail. Hey, this is Jeff. Leave me a message. You can click the voicemail button and the system will hang on the line, wait for the beep, and leave your pre-recorded voicemail, all while you move on to the next call. But of course, phone burner is never going to leave a voicemail without you specifically choosing to leave that voicemail after hearing that you've been connected to their voicemail system. And so that's it. That's a quick little demo of the phone burner CRM and power dialer. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video and happy dialing.